still getting ready to read our book for this week, but we are going to talk about the reading strategy of rereading to begin with. When you read something, sometimes it doesn't make very much sense. Good readers will reread or read the text again until they understand it. So let's look and see how a good reader can use the strategy of rereading to understand a story. Here it says it grew slowly and steadily, fed. I read that the orange in this story that we're going to read about grew and was fed. I don't understand what fed the orange. What did the orange eat that helped it grow? I will reread it. It grew slowly and steadily, fed by the earth's soil and the ocean's breeze. After I reread, I understand now that the soil and the ocean is what fed the orange. Let's look at this. Its days of growing were over. Why are its growing days over? Did the tree die? Something's not making sense here. I'm going to reread it. It's days of a hand brown with seasons of sun plucked it from its branch while the dew still glittered on the leaves. Its days of growing were over, but there was life in it yet, and it still had far to go. Now I see what good days of growing are over. It's not the tree, it's the orange that's finished growing. It has gotten as big as it was going to get, and it's ready to be picked and shipped off to be eaten. Now I understand. This story that we're going to read is an informational text. Do you remember anything about informational texts? Well, let's review some of what we know. Informational text gives information about real people, places, things, or events. The author here describes an orange being soaked with rain and drenched in sunshine. The author gives information about what an orange needs to grow. The orange needs rain and sunshine to grow. Informational texts always tell about real people, places, or things. Let's look at these words. Over mountains, across deserts and plains. This text gives us real information about how an orange gets to the store so that we can buy it. Are you ready to read about this orange now? I'm excited to hear about it. This is our story. It is called An Orange in January. Remember, this is our title page. It has the name of the book and the author and illustrator on it. An Orange in January by Diana Hutz Aston. Illustrated by Julie Marin. In a land that glowed with spring light, an orange blossomed. Bees feasted on nectar sweet as honey, until the petals fell away, and the orange began to grow into what it was meant to be. It grew slowly and steadily, fed by the earth's soil and the ocean's breath. Soaked with rain and drenched in sunshine, the orange grew plump and bright, 
until a hand brown with seasons of sun plucked it from its branch while dew still glittered on the leaves its days of growing were over but there was life in it yet and it still had far to go from bag to basket truck to truck it followed the skyway over mountains across deserts and plains until the orange arrived at a grocery store there it rested a glow with a goodness inside it until two hands small and soft took it from the pile and called it the best one of all carrying it home the child felt its roundness and imagined himself a juggler a pitcher a clown with an orange ball that night as ice gleamed on the branches he dreamed of a land that shone in summer light when morning came the orange reached the end of its journey bursting with the seasons inside it and two hands pink with cold shared its segments so that everyone could taste the sweetness of an orange in january thank you for reading the story with me today boys and girls we'll talk about it more tomorrow have a great day